Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from Vemza and in this tutorial I will show you how to use the basic tools to give a picture of virtual diet. This tutorial has been requested by Cherry on my Postures blog Vemza's Photoshop tutorials at Postures.com um, If there's any other requests out there just let me know via the blog. Now the main tools I'll be using is the forward warp tool, the bloat tool, the pucker tool and the patch tool. So to begin with select filter, liquify and that will bring up this window and here we can access the tools forward warp, bloat and pucker. I'll begin by running through the basics of the forward warp tool. Now when using this tool it is important to consider two brush settings and those are the brush size and the brush pressure. Okay, so I'll give you a quick example of what it, what you can do with this tool and the main idea is to be able to structure the body you're working on. You can just work at little bits at a time bringing in the body and make sure you try to keep it in as much proportion as possible. Now, I'll show you why the brush size and the brush pressure is really important. Uh, I'll, be, I'll begin by talking about the brush pressure. If I bring this down to one, uh, you'll see that it doesn't have the same effect as it was when it was higher. And the reason for this is the higher the brush pressure, the sharper it's going to be. So if I bring this back up, to about 87. Um, I'll show you that by bringing the brush size up it's a lot more difficult to uh, structure the body how you like. It's harder to get into into the waist or under the thigh because you're bringing up too much with you. So if I go back to the beginning and bring my brush size down to a size I can work with, I can get much more accurate, um, how can I put it, much more accurate reconstruction of the body. So I'm going to just work my way around the body, I'm going to bring this fly in, any little telltale signs that could give away that it's a chubby body uh, such as the arms, make the arms a bit thinner um, always remember to try and keep the body in proportion because I've seen some really dodgy uh, mistakes made in the industry so you by not concentrating so if you don't want to be a laughing stock really concentrate on what you're doing here um, once you've kind of done your platform of the kind of body shape you're looking for, um, the tool such as the pucker tool can help bring in areas like the ankles, make them a bit thinner. Can also help with um, the backside. It can shrink it up to. Um, a size you'd much rather prefer uh, in the in the kind of model industry let's say um, it's the bloat tool is used to enlarge breast areas or in some cases the arse and these two are, these two tools are very similar in the fact that you just select them and you click where you would like to shrink or expand. Um, going back to the pucker tool, it's great for areas where you just want to bring in it a bit, but try not to use it too much because if you keep your finger on the mouse, it's kind of like a black hole and everything will disappear with it. Once you're happy with that, you just press OK and that will just save what you've done so far. I can just show you. Uh, briefly the difference we've made in just a couple of minutes that's what we started with 
and this is what we have now um, once you've done this areas that you've probably been focusing on are these rolls I can show you a great technique of how to get rid of these using the patch tool now if the patch tool is not there it might be a spot healing tool or the healing brush or the red eye you just simply right click on this one and you select patch tool using a patch tool is similar to the lasso tool uh, you just click your mouse and keep your finger on it and just select the area around the roll once you've done that you just put your mouse in the middle of your selection and you drag it down to a, a smoother area Ooh. it's very important to consider the new selection because you want it to be the same kind of skin complexion not to give away too much that you've just patched it up um, those are the basic tools used to get this kind of outcome um, of course there are other, other tools like the uh, clone stamp tool and the, the healing brush but they all designed to do pretty much the same thing and the tools I've just shown you now are the ones most commonly used to get this kind of outcome so I hope you've all enjoyed this tutorial and if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe